12 o'clock on a Friday, you know it is Ogopa Nairobi Day. Welcome to the biggest show in the 254 right now. This is Ogopa Nairobi. My name is Jack Kipiegon. Na kama na juliza tuko wapi tuko ndani ya Swiss Lenana Mount Hotel. Mambo ni safi, mambo ni fresh. Tunakuletea Ogopa Nairobi. If you've not subscribed, fick up o chini sai sai. Finya subscription button, ingia comment section. Nime Jack mambo vipi, nimechezo wapa na pali. Na just assured, lazima utakanyage kwa iset. Leo manze, nakuletea mtu memuona kwa TV na juliza. Umse, alifikaje hapa. But leo, ako Ogopa Nairobi. Nairobi na kumbe mambo ni safi mambo ni fresh lazima upige bidi ndio ufike mali unataka but before ufike mali anataka lazima in Nairobi limfanye ile kitu what am i talking about i'm talking about one of the best presenters in the 254 right now Brian Aseli Inakwaje <laughs> <laughs> bro yo mambo vipi man sije introduce you hivyo by the way nimesikia poa unajua nimesikia poa hata kama kitu moja bro guest yote akiketi hapa anafaa juu yeye ni VIP kwa uh-huh. sababu the fact that umekuja hapa kuna jeshi kubwa nyuma hii kamera uh-huh. wanataka kujua huyu msi amekuja ogopa Nairobi ni sawa ashaichezwa but first of all lazima tujue struggle yake na ndio maana ukisikia na kuintroduce hivyo ni heshima maisha na by the struggles nimepitia wallahi mimi najua struggles in person like <laughs> najua nickname ya struggles ni ndio mzee pitia struggle bro hawezi kuwa refined for karibu ni sana mzee show ni kubwa show ni hatari huyu ni Brian na Sale ushaimuona kwa TV ushaimuona wapi mm. anafanya show kubwa na the reason mbona ako hapo anataka kuombia jani yake vile ilikuwa alafu akombe vile hii Nairobi imemfanya na vile pia wewe unaweza do ndio utoke kwa namba kama hizo Brian manze karibu sana thank you so much man kwa set manze ogopa Nairobi for the first time how does it feel mimi ni kofiti by the way na i'm a big fan first of all una do job poor like una do job poor nimecheki uh, notable names on the yeah, on the yeah, list yeah. so nikapigiwa simu nikaambiwa hi Brian Aseli so yeye anaongelesha kizungu yani unajua ni Brian Aseli like hi would you like to come to huyo mtu wenyu ni nani who's that person <laughs> ajuangi ni kwamba hii kazi lazima ifanye na wase wengi manzi hapa nyumba kuna jeshi bigi na ukisikia kuna sauti ya hivyo hela hii nikajua nikajua nimepata visa hiyo ni ya kupigia mabuyu nikajua naenda majuu Let me hello Brian Aseli. Would you like to come to your show? Oh, because I'm a group in Nairobi. Because I'm first of all the Guja. Second of all, you should go no ma sana. So it's such an honor to be here today. And you're doing a great job just pointing out that Nairobi is not the easiest place to be. But it's also equally the easiest place to be. Yeah, also in terms of opportunities and what not guys coming together and sharing ideas. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. Na ndo maana hata tumekuleta hapa tukombe huyu jamaa. Brian Aseli by the time he was here. He came he came an hour early. Of course mm. anachunga time. Ni mtu wa media. Lazima, so lazima. By the time he got here tuna cut up nini na nini. We knew that the show was going to be fire. We are doing this because of you because without you there is no us. Na kwa nini yako hapa atakombe leo the journey vile alichezwa na how you can do everything not to get in this situation. Bro, tuambie mwanzi Brian Aseli ni nani na kila kitu ni I think this is the hardest interview ever because I'm I'm so used to being on the other side. Yeah yeah yeah. Mzee kwa hiyo side nyingine mimi ndo nauliza the tough question and so tell us tell us what happened. Jongaka kama moment tunashika mtu hivi. So Brian Aseli is a simple guy. I'm I'm an artistic all-round artistic guy. I have a background in uh, theater, music. Um if I was not a TV presenter, radio presenter, I'd definitely be a full-time actor okay. or a screenwriter or just a director somewhere because right. my passion is in is in teaching people to become the next generation of greatness ah, nice. uh, for example i am an associate director at um, redford chorus ah, nice. of course so, <laughs> so, so miku are one of the guys who trains the music and the acting awesome. so that mse kwanza a boost self esteem yake so reason hizo vitu zote ni Mzee mimi niki grow up nili nili grow up Kawangware. Big shout out to 4656 Kawangware. Ongwaro in the house. Ongwaro So mimi nili grow up born bred raised lived and then nimemoka kidogo so nikajiondoa. Lazima umoke. Ile eh story ukipiga hiyo story lazima lazima kuomoka ndio hapo 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 niko mahali. Bado tu turn mbili alafu ndakuwa sawa. Ndakuwa sawa. Continue bidii ile. So I grew up in Kawangware. So everything I knew is Kawangware based. Ni hivyo tu. Mimi nilgrow up Kawangware stage 2. So growing up ilikuwa Watu watu usema watu utaka kila mtu kuwa na sad story yake mimi sina sad story bro una, una celebrate journey actually hiki tu mnafahamu muita tu this is not a sad story <laughs> kila mse kila mse wa, wa, wa ghetto director anasikia anasikia uki grow up ghetto kila mtu sema hey, grow up ilikuwa tough maze let me tell you why it was not tough yeah. everyone was in the same situation kama sisi kila mtu anateseka the same eh hey, sasa so kama, kufraia, kila mtu kama you don't have running water in the house ni kila, kila mtu ndani kama kuna so, steamer so, una, 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 una,
Nani ya kuuliza? Wapi running water? Running water wapi? Wapi? Na ni ngoro. Exactly. So growing up, wacha nikwambie it's the best thing to ever happen yeah. to me. Yeah. I grew up in a place where people loved each other. Mazijo I get my energy from people full stop. Yeah. Uh, my gift of being on television started very Yanza ka jokes. Yeah. Mimi nilikuwa nga Lavington Primary. Okay. Lavington Primary liko nga divided into two. Wase wame wamoka na wase. Wamoka na kuna wase. Wase wane wako karibu kwa wamoka. <laughs> Sasi sin. Wewe uko hapi hapa? Others. <laughs> <laughs> sisi tuliko hapo. Hapo after kuomoka yeah. wanyo wana karibia kuomoka lafu Lapu sisi. Alafu sasa nyingi. Yeah, yeah so yeah. nikiwa Lavington Primary kulikuwa na KBC zo time kulikuwa nga na msi. Alikuwa na ito Hamisi Temo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hamisi Temo walikuwa KBC na maze. That guy used to drop his kids in our school every morning. He had a pujo. Yeah. Na every time alikuwa na kamchua na wa drop alafu ni shit job mazi nilikuwa nasimama kwa fence the, it, ilikuwa wooden fence so yeah. nilikuwa nasimama hapo every time na unatu umsi ana drop watu wake then john ni nikienda home umse mimi ni hamisi temo na umetoka kumuona kwa fence yo no, mimi nilikuwa na john mimi ni make it kitambo but even as kidaga because i one of those people when you your dream i i i love easy small goals small wins yeah. i love the small wins first yeah. cuz you know when you understand mazejo hii journey by the itakuja jipa so mimi mimi si ma one hit wonder i'm yeah, here to he, stay by the way i'm, I'm going to be here for a while by the way kama nafikiria kuna place na end i'm going to be here for a while i'm your hater to disappoint by the way mimi hata sinanga time ya haters who are those what are those so mimi nikikuwa loving to primary wasi walikuwa ki fight class eh ni class imekuja hivyo classic classic wale maheta wameongea hii ni lugha ya election eh you have to be classic ndio tunaingia huko so uh uni face moja yenye ilikuwa interesting sana like wasi waki fight class mimi niko hapo hivyo oh my goodness look at them una hype situation that is mark look at him throwing a jab throwing a jab oh my goodness you are miss ilikuwa hivyo ilikuwa hivyo and then so i landed myself into so much trouble but niki grow up i was not confident i was not a confident guy yeah. so class 1 bado nilikuwa na report two kwa class two hapo wasio kifight wa kifight nasema ah haina ngori si hata kanta land into trouble bado na feel kama nime achieve hiyo siku ni hiyo siku niko na bulletin niko na entertainment nishafanya vitu zangu unajua nisha nisha unda story yangu so niko na my fans hata class so class 1 ivo si bado nilikuwa na shida na self esteem class 2 same Blendly turn nine. Sasa una jonga silikuwa na kaa kwa dawati. Ile ile si desk. Si desk. Dawati ni. Dawati mko watatu. Na kaa watatu. Eh and then mimi ligrow up. Mmechora kila msema ni mna demarket. Bas. Alafu sasa nilikuwa na desk wa right side na desk wa left side. Kitu siwezi uliza hata ni kaa. Madem. Nilikuwa na wanarembo. <laughs> 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 Ulikuwa ukikuwa na smaker unaikuwa na warembo. Sasa ni walimu walikuwa nafikiria wana nitesa. <laughs> walimu walikuwa nafikiria wana nitesa. Kumbe wamekumbali. Mimi na Jinjo. Just I'm just having a good time. Una relax si una peruka. Nasikia tu urembo tupu. Urembo urembo tupu. But sasa wasiana walikuwa wakali. Of course jo wana. They're so tough mazijo. Don't listen to what the boys are saying. Yeah. 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 So is a time. So one of my desk keys and by the way I I don't know where she is right now. I'm actually looking for my desk mate. Ana Georgina. Georgina, 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 Georgina Nazi and Teresia Mbele. Hawa tu wili kama nawajua tafadhali tell them I'm looking for them. We need to have lunch. Cuz so, that so the two Teresia people na Teresia na Georgina. Na Georgina. Those two people. You guys are um, mjue Brian Asalia na watafuta. Yeah. Now, of course reunion ni happen courtesy of uh, Ogo Parero. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. So tukiavyo lunch lazima ni walete hapo hivyo. So those two deskmates <laughs> yeah. walikuwa very good singers. Yeah. Na me on the other hand I used to sing but naimba sauti ya chini ile tu chini ya waba chini ya waba ya piano imeisha bit bas sio hivyo but umenichomea hapo lakini volume ndio ilikuwa shida si bet bet ilikuwa sawa but sauti ilikuwa sauti ilikuwa nayo kama sauti yako iko kwa keyboard sauti ilikuwa okay ilikuwa but sasa siko na ile ile nini ile motisha ti inaweza sema mambele ya wasi ni imbe ama niongee so one of my desk mates Georgina ndio alikama up na song So alikuwa na imba three part harmony. Wale wale watu wanajua mziki ilikuwa na soprano, alto alafu tena. So walikuwa yeah. na soprano na alto, hawana tena na mimi ni desk wao. Na we spent a lot of time tukicheza pamoja tukiwa watu hii. Ukwambia kitu tunaweza ifanya tena. Kwambia kitu bana. Tunaweza tena na tena na tena. <laughs> so, awesome. the first time akaimba it was I think it was a Celine Dion song. You know yeah. mimi ni msewa hizo ma. Yeah. Unajua hivyo born early 90s yeah, so yeah, yeah. unajua kile anasema. So 
ilikuwa interesting ilikuwa ile wimbo just the way it is just the way it is unasikia yeah, unasikia eh? it is umesikia kizungukoza it, it, it is what it is ya kwa ngoro bro ungesema it is it it is what it is so it is one of the songs that really yeah. took me off yeah. and tuka perform kwa parade nikasikia nilikuwa na very great feeling after that because wasi wana kusalimia unajua size na juliza bro um say background yake ni ngoro alikuwa la Victor primary nini na nini hii kizungu hii uligeuzia wapi? Ah hii kizungu ni ya campus bwana. Oh, so, ah sasa hii ulichukua hapa. Ah hii hata hii <laughs> kama sio campus hii unafikiria tungekuwa hapa. Nakwambia please tuli na campus the no, no, difference but nili grow up nikikuwa entertainment enthusiast vitu yeah. kama hizo. So nili get into music hapo nikakuwa serious nikaingia poetry. Uh, from there drama ndio ilini change sasa high school. Yeah. Sasa so, so, i became a i became a beast. Yeah. Okingia Okingia High School. High School, school you talking about? Vihiga High School. Ah, bro. Big shout out to oh, Vihiga bana. Vihiga High School. Big ilikuwa Chava. Ah, zi Kaka Mega High School. Kaka Mega Kachai. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Chava walikuwa others. Uh, small 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 problem but. Watakach. Watakach cuz. Watakach. Watakach sana. Watakach. 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 A noise maker. Uh, Mi sikuwa na dreams na goals juu nini. Yeah. But when I was seven, hapo ndiyo mzali ni aliniambia, unataka kwa kama misitemo, hii hi wadi ya umse kitu, jobe nyu ufanya na itua journalist. Okay. Nanka sema, okay, you never know. But from there, my dad groomed me to become a lawyer. So, I, I have an interest in politics and I have an interest in uh, in law. In law, napenda yes. Tu, napenda tu law. Stories are mm. sharia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, nili grew up ni kijuanta kwa lawyer. But pili elifika high school, vitu zika change. Nikanza kusoma news kwa parade. Yeah, na unajua eh mimi nilikuwa msewa Jona. Sana sana juu juu ya madem. Unajua ilikuwa ngani eh wakin oh my god. Sa- nice. Kakizunguka kaanza kuiva na hapo. Ah, <laughs> Nika notice hapo kuna market. Nika notice hapo but there's one guy who changed my life to the yeah. better and, and it's for no political reason. Cleofas Malala. Okay. So, Senator Kakamega. Kakamega. Big shout out to Cleofas. Mimi niko form 1 mazi. Okay. Niko kwa list zote za noise maker mpaka sasa ile tume uh, sija report shule bado niko mm. kwa list ya noise maker just in case nipige makelele nikiingia kwa gate utaingia tu eh yeah. watajua tu nitakuwa kwa list ya noise maker so I was, I was notorious noise maker yeah wala nandiko times 10 yeah, times 10 yeah. yeah wale wenye niko number niko top 3 kwa makelele hakuna yeah. venye oh, kuna siku wana <laughs> pia prefect alikuwa anasa kuandika noise makers Ban. walimu anatokea na ambia show me those who are making noise eh. kwa kwanza ni mimi so ilikuwa nga hivyo so there was one time i made a lot of noise na nika i just became mayhem yeah. in class na sasa hiyo Cleofas akakuja class akapata nikipasha uh, napasha prefect, prefect. Yeah. naambia prefect sasa unaongea kizungu bro naambia you can't do anything man i'm from okay. Nairobi ile, man ile law inaanza kukuingia yeah i'm gonna kill you <laughs> i'm gonna destroy you <laughs> eh hey, nikaingia hivyo Cleofas akaniambia unafanya nini hapo bro una waste talent twende dining hall by that time yes. by that time Cleo alikuwa alikuwa, alikuwa, alikuwa uni alikuwa, alikuwa, alikuwa USA hiyo alikuwa Dukom Science yeah. so tukakam it was really interesting man very interesting even on lingia drama festival at that time cleo uh, senator cleo alikuwa anafunza drama viga so akakwambia hii talent yako iwezekani kwa sababu sisi ndo the reason as to why talent kwa raudi hawezi kuja so instead of becoming raudi nikakuwa the most disciplined person and that's how i became a dance leader nilikuwa nafanya uh, traditional dance nikakuwa soloist wa choir nikakuwa uh, journalism club nikakuwa one of the guys that introduced history ya ku correspondence correspondence yeah. ni Corres- ati wale, wale, sisi ni wa ishule viga high school so tunafaa kuongea na wasi wa kakamega wasi wa alliance high school yeah, yeah, so yeah. you'd find people traveling from different parts of the yeah. nation wakikuja yeah. chuo yetu because wana come for journalism. journalism so that's why i had And the passion you had so much passion still to date yeah, yeah. just that i do entertainment does not mean that i'm not I mean, like a journalism. thara journalism. i'm not a thara journalist yeah, yeah. I'm, i'm into journalism like seriously yeah. so you know one of the things uh, that i found very interesting to become a journalist but before that truly win akuna wada to win by the in, in terms of uh, drama. drama best performing at, at artist music muliko mnatandika best performing artist kenya all time all time that's the biggest award nilikuwa nayo in high school best soloist western best soloist national yeah. tulikuwa nayo best so during people. drama kuliko na play of course kuliko na narrative kuliko na dance, solo verse yes. dance yeah. which one were you so much invested in? which one was i not in <laughs> Bro, <laughs> 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 Most... drama festival yeah. maze, wana memories before wana join aje nilikuwa drama festival mwaka flani ingia hapo kwa comment section uniambie jack mwaka flani 2008 2000, uh, 2004 nilikuwa na tesa drama festival mm-hmm. niambie maze cause leo 
tunaongelea mali Brian Asili alitoka imagine so mimi i am a product of the drama festival Wala. full stop ni so ki. eh ni hivyo so nilikuwa really invested in dance yeah. traditional dance yeah. na pia really invested in plays because yeah. plays were everything playing your festival yeah. mkiwa the best play ah definitely definitely you will win every day of your life so tulikuwa tuna win play western tukisha win western national tulikuwa tuna kujibamba hapana so, western ilikuwa noma yeah mshinda kaka mega high school <laughs> ah see sisi hatuna shida so we were one of the first teams who actually shinda kaka mega high school yeah. for a very long time yeah. so we became respected in western by the way mimi uh, one of my my uh, head teachers big yes. shout out to indimuli kahi yeah. you know the head of association in in africa sio 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 kacha sio we know people oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no he's the head of association principles in africa in africa yes that guy i don't know how i can thank him but that guy literally looked at me and asked me what do you want to become nikamwambia i want to become a journalist where do you want to work for where, who do you want to work for nikamwambia i want to work for the international media i can be but but who told you that you can't do that nikamwambia nobody then go ahead and do it do it the first day on tv i'm doing my show the first text i'm receiving man indimulikai son i am proud of you man that was the yani sijai feel evil these are the stories that you are bringing yeah. listen to this <clears throat> this guy meets uh, the principal and amwambia ni aje you can do this thing go ahead and do it mm-hmm. and even akimwambia story um say bana na juana za ifani i mean get the first show we find on tv premiere show the first text that comes in ni a principal how did you feel Yo like I've never been proud of myself. I was the proudest at that given moment yeah. and I know 100% sure that if you believe just write it down and then it's going to come into fusion. Yeah. I'm one of those guys nilikuwa na news maker nilikuwa trouble maker but one time everything just changed for me. And that was it. And that was it. Because of the, in the interest of time bro nina nini of course straight fast forward kiasi mm-hmm. paka of course where you are now yeah. how, how does it feel being in a tv space you know doing something that you love something that you've worked for how does it feel man because kuna msay behind the camera anasema kama umsa liko drama liko na do hivi okay sasa hizo shafika kwa tv na present how does it feel it's a it's a daily job so it's a job it's like a job, any other job so unajipanga before you get the job and right when you get the contract it's the most exciting feeling ever yeah. una feeling ni make it that's it but that's you get but you get into that door and you realize that i'm at the bottom of the food chain yeah and so i have st- to work so you start chasing wow. so that's exactly what we're doing that's right now that's where we are yeah <laughs> <laughs> now despite all that man zebra na sele kikombe na kulikuwa na drama kulikuwa na time alikuwa noise maker akapatana na sele za Cleopas Malala all the way to the principal mpaka akafika mali yako as a tv presenter one thing that you have to keep in mind is that he Nairobi haisameagi mtu yote the minute unakanyaga hii Nairobi hivi na kuita na inakufanyia ile kitu so this is the time bro when niambie man zebra Nairobi city at what point ulikao ukasema wa hii Nairobi na yogopa sana at what point <sighs> okay um first of all nikimaliza high school yeah. i'm sorry i'm taking you way way no, back no pressure bro no pressure nikimaliza high school i knew i was going to become a full time actor okay unasikia mimi nilikuwa najua mimi ni Denzel Washington mm. eh nilikuwa active nilikuwa nilikuwa najua Hollywood by yeah. the way and i knew i was going to make it 100% yeah. cuz i was really good at my craft yeah. still i'm really good at it <laughs> yeah. yeah but in industry <laughs> yeah. industry nilikuwa na noma so we went for close to 100 auditions okay ilif kamali tulikuwa tunaenda 2 to 3 auditions per day okay. kenya national theater kutoka hapo ningia gote institute kutoka gote institute tunaenda lions kutoka lions tunaenda breban hivyo so ilikuwa every day zote zote ni ma, ma, ma audition na most role na most ilikuwa kutembea okay. i became a professional auditioner like unatembea hii nairobi unatembea tu kutafuta soul ya viatu ina ina lose soul anyway uh-huh. Place nilisha ichezo in Nairobi. Unataka nikwambie hiyo ama nikwambie gani? Niambie mali hii Nairobi ni. Ita un ita un nimegogo mara mingi sana. Waambie bro. Asa wanasikia hiyo story wanasikia ni safi. Waambie mali ulitengenezwa. Bro, tumeenda auditions tukaambiwa, "Eh, mtu wangu, hiyo audition mshapenya. Mpaka tukapiga picha. Nini? Kila kitu iko sawa." Hapa ni wapi bro? Usiogope. Ah, sikuta. Eh. I can't remember the exact people. Bana yeah. kwa tulienda audition ilikuwa na wase wengi. Role ilikuwa gani? Tupe tu brief kiasi role ya hiyo audition. Yeah. So wamesema wanataka nani? Wanatafuta nani? Wanatafuta 19 year old. Okay. Eh? I, I actually fit the description. Yeah. 19 year old young person ambitious, uh, good looking, confident. Confident. Yeah. Unajua vitu kama hizo. Hapo pa good looking by the way hapo alikuwa. Oi, Jesus. 
Eh, auditions, minikajua hiyo auditions ni noma, iko professional mingia, kuna cameras pale, lights, camera, action, kila kitu iko sawa mse. Mko kwa room, kila kitu iko sawa bro, mizi yona kitu kama hiyo. Kwanza mbembe mkuji na passport photos, nini, but kama una passport photos, in fact, watateka hapo hivyo, watazipiga pale. Wana charge 200 bro. Eh mimi sina hiyo 200 bomb. Chaambia my best eh chwani chwani mbao mbao ni ni hata hito. Nishachukua nishaenda pale mpiga smile yangu kaa yote. Waka print out nini wakatupatia the scripts. Yeah. So tunaongea so, conversation eh yeah. conversation. Yeah. Yeah. No wana shoot, wana shoot hiyo yes. uh, conversation yeah. yenyewe nayo. Wewe hey, kijana ameingia pale. Talk to me Mark. What do you want to tell me today? <laughs> drama my friend, drama. Drama is something that I take every day. What is your coffee today? Cut. <laughs> Washa cut. Nikashanga hii tume hata ni ukasema thank you very much. We really like you. We li- like your voice. We like your intonation and everything. Majaji wanachachisha. Eh. Nikamwambia hata nisiendelee. Na si kuendelea my friend. Ukajua hapa nataka. Ah, nikamwambia baba bangu sasa hiyo nimekataa kwenda uni. Nilikuwa nimeitwa University of Nairobi ku study law. Kambi babangu, I'm going to be a rebel. I'm not going to do this thing. Because yeah. growing up, I thought that my dad didn't like me. Because okay. there's no... You know, they don't appreciate anything artistic. Yeah. They only appreciate the... Straightforward things. Umekuja home na trophy kama nene. Unambia dad, unawana mindo liliditi, mekashindezi trophy zote. Wapi report? Wapi report? Wapi report? Imagine, niliko hivo. So I I grew up knowing that my dad really hated me. So time niliambiwa ni repeat unajua ku repeat enzi zetu mimi nilikuwa na ku repeat nilikuwa na mwaka hivi tu peke yake bas so mimi kuna time niliambiwa ni repeat so nikakuwa na issue na mzae yeah. from form 2 yeah. tulikuwa na really bad relationship yeah. ni, nilikuwa nafikiria tu mzae wangu ananichukia at that time yeah and by the way it was something just in my mind cuz there's one person who loves me exactly. truly that well, one man that's my dad man but as you grew nini nini grew older nisa nikaanza kurada so umefika pale majaji wamesema timamu 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 wakaniambia we'll give you a call back and then tutajua kama utachukua hii role. Kambi but chances are wewe ndio unachukua hii kitu. Mimi nikaenda home wewe. Hata siongeleshi watu sasa. Unaambia nyinyi namuogopa Mungu pekee. Unaongea na celebrity. So what happened is nikaenda mtaani kila kitu ikakuwa sawa. Wakani wakanipiga call back. Wakaniambia sasa ukirudia call back inafaa uko na 5. Mm. Hold up now. Nikaulizwa hiyo kapatano ni ya nini? Uliouliza? And I mean Lolisa, you got patano ni ani. Kuna kwa kwa confidence. Unaulizwa employer mbona amekuita Joe? Ah, Joe uko na kiburi. Yaani ngoje ni. Umepigiwa simu na employer, anakuambia kuja interview, but now you have to come with an extra 5000 bob. You go ahead and ask if 5000 yeah, bro. Wakati uko jobless, unataka to do 5000. Lakini ushaenda job alafu unaitwa shadow. Siwezi sema ni job gani nitachoma. Ndio tabaki umekuja hapo ni interview jua alinicheza hatari. Nice. Yeah. So me will is for the same reason ni aje. Hii kapatano ni nini? Eh ni nini wakaniambia logistics nini kuna vitu mnafaham dress kuna photo shoot yeah. professional the photos will be distributed across. Unajua ni actor umekuwa drama unajua hivi ni ukwe. Eh kwanza unajua the higher the profile the better. Mimi nilikuwa najua ati pictures zetu zina distributiwa across Africa they might go for a TV commercial <laughs> or pia zinaweza enda unaweza kuwa kwa TV show yeah, ina TV show. ina come up nasema the final selection mtenda South Africa kwa akili ushaeka uselewa bro mimi nilikuwa kwanza naangalia vile relationship yangu na babangu at that time ilikuwa yeah nikaona huyu mzee ajui ni ana deal na nani cuz i'm ni celebrity huyu like, ba- ba- <laughs> sunglasses do future bright huyu <laughs> mzee elewi siezi kaa kwa place kuna light <laughs> <laughs> if you know you know <laughs> Do mean your light? Do you mean your light at that at that time? I mean your light. Nam sayo na joke. And ako hapo hivyo nikitukiingia babangu anamwambia hi hi hivyo tension mm. unajitoa hivyo. But nikajiambia for that moment dada juu kile anaenda ku become. Yeah. Na kwa the best star in Africa man. Yeah. Ukienda kuchukua ma trophy mm. na bila una big up mzai after yeah. God. I thank God and I thank my mom. Yeah, and and I thank my mom. And dad. My dad is equal part of the list at that given point. <laughs> But then liko na beef. Ana skiza hiyo. Ni kweli no. He knows he knows na na tume iron out. Okay. That's that's so the whole thing. Now. Yeah, it's not ah, that he, it was it was not that he hated me. It is mimi ndo nilikuwa naishi na assumption that umzayani pendi but you wanted the best for you 
Awesome. But later on is when I got to know that. Awesome. So mimi tumemaliza tumechukua kapa tano sijui nilitoa wapi hiyo pesa. Yeah. 100 sijui. Hiyo patikana. Chances ani madhangu. Madhangu yeah. alikuwa na tao tatu mahali and Sha, some of my cousins. Hata sina kitu nika hiyo bag nitoe. Hivyo. Nikapeleka tao tano huko ikasubmitiwa nini mapicha ndio tulipigwa mapicha ndio yeah. zilitoka. Yeah. Alafu from there <laughs> Paka leo nangojewa nipigie. The number you've called is temporarily out of sack. Like Paka leo nangojewa nipigie. 5,000 ikazama. Nangojewa nipigie, nifanya hizo vitu South Africa. Hadi leo. Hadi leo. Iyo mwaka ni gani bro? Kitambo. Hadi leo. <laughs> Over 10 years ago man. Listen to this. Let me tell you something. <laughs> In Nairobi, hata kama una hustle. Despite the fact that you have a goal and everything. One thing that you have to know is that. Lazima. At one point. Utajezo. Utajezo. <laughs> How did you feel at that time that una dume pia na 5000 you do when you can materialize to anything you're calling them number ingi what did you think of yourself considering the fact that at a home ulikuwa umeanza kuvaa jazi za celebrity you know? ah of course kwanza pale ongo ruku na kuonga na camera ukipiga look ukipiga look, look, look bro eh hey. Ivo, ni eh, niende kule mtongo ni shave na 50 bob Allah umepigwa umeolewa kwa jina la baba asongeshe hela ndani <laughs> kidogo <laughs> You see here line yangu ni ya kusongeshwa residing kidogo ya kibazi how did it feel man it felt really bad man what i need to but it was also my turning point so the good thing is nearly feel the buyer nearly feel first of all narudisha mamangu aje pesa yeah. niendaje kumwambia nimechezwa and then the other guys wenye nimechukua hii thawa yao mbili ya to do some Yeah, jobs huko nje na ndio pia is not for this sasa, sasa, for sasa dada know. kwa right unajua umekata shule umesikia umekata shule umekata kwenda uni and then hapo <laughs> umechezwa umechezwa andiko na trophy sasa bro <laughs> so <laughs> you know, that sorry moment of coming to tell my dad yeah. niaje eh, nataka kurudi chuo Wala. and he told me what do you want to become nikamwambia i don't want to become a lawyer i want to become a journalist i want to be in communication that's always been my passion but you've never asked me So mimi tumekuwa tuki groom ni kuwe lawyer lawyer journalist kinda mm. but I really want to become a journalist full stop I want to do communication That's point akasema ni sawa yeah na ikakuwa ni hivyo yeah. and the rest is history paka leo sisi hao one word manze kwa msa na coach size of course tuki kifunga kipindi kuna msa size ameketi ana watch kipindi anaangalia gofa na Nairobi anasema okay Jack anaongea na Brian Asili but one thing that that Jack hataki kumuuliza ni ati naweza do nini pia mimi ifike kwa hii position yenye yako of course it takes a lot mm-hmm. but just coming from you there is that one tip that you have then you unajua lazima uko naye mm-hmm. ndio uko umefika pale what and say me what and say me statement first of all you can't be like me i am a masterpiece <laughs> you can't i am a masterpiece and guess what the same information is if you can say those words you're a masterpiece you're unique usi copy paste life you are at him say kwa ig ya kona gari ya kona bima kona nini at you una copy paste what you can do is believe in yourself believe that you can do it concentrate on what you're doing and then control your environment and guess what when you believe in yourself people start believing in you in you when you concentrate you become an expert when you concentrate you get the best out of what you're concentrating on and when you control you might just be in power so believe concentrate control Apo sawa mzee thank you so much for coming through <laughs> tuna appreciate sana mzee team zima ya Gopa Nairobi una appreciate tunashukuru mm-hmm. sana kila mtu hapa ndani anapenda craft yako keep doing what you're doing mm-hmm. tutaambiwa say of course mali show yako iko aende kuona na kila kitu ni una do bro god bless sana 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 thank you so Asante much asante sana kwa kuja bro thank you so much thank you mzee asante na kama umesikia mzee kila kitu venye inaenda thank you so much for joining us if you've just joined us right now kimbia mazoone kipindi usikize venye brand asili anasema life ilikuwa ngumu there was a point alikuwa very messy akienda daron you know is maker akafika mahali aka semani i want to do drama festival and what not senator ka come through cleofas malala foka kamega akamsaidia akamwambia bro hii talent yako mimi nataka uipeleke kwa stage na tutafanya na wewe mambo paka leo up to saa hizi all credit mzee msa na pia cleofas malala anasema yeye ndiye alimsaidia mpaka career life dream yake ikafika mahali mzee relationship yake na budaki iko on the rocks ni nini but later akakama career life he actually made the best for him this is a go panerobi and of course we bring you the best stories so that you can learn venye in nairobi kunaenda kama kawaida unajiuliza Jaka mengara nini na nini. Mimi nakuambia kwa kila siku wa Bano Luso ndo the drip sauce. Na wao ndo wanasema ukifika pale Jamia Mall unaingia shop number F48 wanakupea premium shirt na ka safi. Manukato ni safi unasikia koloni na nikia fiti. Make sure umeingia pale uchague look safi manze. Kama kawaida this is Gopa Nairobi. See you again next week. Bye bye.